your professors or your teachers grade your essays so much higher. I don't know if I'm even allowed to say this, but like this is one of the best things ever. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the 10 plus apps and browser extensions that have saved my school life and made it so much easier for me to get almost a 4.0. I'll be dividing these apps and extensions into the following three categories. Category number one will be hacks and things that will make your life easier. Category number two will be websites and apps that can help you write the best essay. And category number three will be on productivity. So the first website that I want to share with you guys is paperreader.com. Now this magical thing was brought upon me by one of my classmates. She shared this website with us. Basically what it does is you put in your essay, you put in what type of essay it is, it gives you the predicted grade for your essay, everything that can possibly be wrong with your essay, as well as grammar corrections and style correction. Also it gives you a report on plagiarism, but one thing that I've always found is that my grade is always one grade higher than what the paperreader.com gives me because it doesn't take into consideration the actual substance and meaning of your essay. Slater.com. So what Slater.com does, you look up your textbook and you look up the pages and the problems that you've been assigned from the textbook. It gives you the answers to the problems. This is like the solution to my life problems. Next is a browser extension or a website which is called OneTab. OneTab is exactly what it sounds like. It's just this one tab that has all the tabs that you have opened in your computer in it and it also sorts them by different categories. The next one is really good life hack for any of your class presentations. And if you wanna know more about how to get straight A's for every single one of your presentations, go to my how to get straight A's for every single one of your presentations video. God, the title. When you get one of the slide templates, the teachers usually think that you put more efforts into your presentation, therefore they tend to give you higher grades. So the best three websites for the slide templates that I know are Slides Carnival or Carnival. I don't know how to pronounce it. The second one is Canva and the third one is my dog just walked. Can you close the door? Close in the or no. And the third one is Slides Go. The next one, I don't know if I'm even allowed to say this. Like, I feel like I'm gonna get sued or something. But like, this is one of the best things ever. If you are low on money, which almost every single one of us college students are, what you can do is go to either Library Genesis, which is a website that you write the article name and it just unlocks that paper for you. The second one is SciHub, which does the same thing. Moving on to the essay writing portion of this video. When you're doing research, you can either use Bibme or Essay Bib to make your citations without having to worry about them too much. Another one is Hemingway, which is probably like a more advanced Grammarly. So what it does is it gives you different categories and highlights your essay based on the sentences that you have in passive voice, sentences that don't read well. Another thing to make your essays seem way more professional is to use synonyms for the words that are basic and we use a lot. So instead of because, maybe get into a habit of saying do to, instead of but, just say however. That will make your essay that much more professional, make you stand out from the crowd of your classmates and make your professors or your teachers grade your essays so much higher. But also like don't overdo it because you don't want to sound pretentious. <laughs> Pomodoro timer, but most Pomodoro timers that you see are just so basic and they're not cute in any way. It's like 25 minute timer, like who cares about that? But this timer though, this timer has a cute tomato sitting there. While you're working, the cute tomato is just gonna be sitting there and typing at its computer. And I don't know why, but like I'm such a kid. It just makes me wanna work so much more. I'm like, ah, it's so cute. Thank you so much for watching and if you guys like this video, check out my How to Conquer School playlist and I hope these apps will help you succeed in the 2020 school year. If you like that, then subscribe to my channel or if you like this person right here, which I know a lot of people have a lot of controversial opinions about. Friend once told me that she's like, you're the kind of person that you can either really love or really hate. And I was like, what am I, Tana Mojo? I'm in the movie.